I would like to be rich, not the host. I just want money. I'll get there. I want to be rich. I want. Here's the reason I want to be rich. Uh, I got a landlord who's got some shit coming to her, and the only way that I can accomplish what she needs done to her is to be rich. Because here's what I want to do. I want to have enough money that I'm going to buy a bulldozer and I'm going to move to California. And then I'm going to drive my bulldozer from California to Pennsylvania and I'm going to plow her fucking house over. And then I'm going to give her the money to build the house back up. And then I'm going to drive back to California and a year later I'm going to drive all the way back to Pennsylvania and I'm going to plow her fucking house over again. And I'm going to pay her the money to build it back up. And I'm going to continue doing this until she kills herself. That's my plan. <laughs> I want to win the lottery? Holy shit. How awesome is it to win the lottery? How awesome, from our perspective, how awesome is the lottery? Who wants to win the lottery here? Anybody? Exactly. You get a piece of paper, you give it to some Indian guy behind the counter at a gas station, and he gives you a million dollars. That is the American dream, the fucking Indian over out of money, and that is the exact thing the lottery does. It is amazing. Read history. That's the way it works, I promise you. Did anybody ever read history? We fucked the Indians over hardcore. Fucking pilgrims came over with their stupid hats and their faggy buckle shoes, and they were like, hey, what's going on? And the Indians were like, would you like to share corn? And the pilgrims were like, we'll take it. <laughs> We'll share smallpox with you. You want to do that? You want to share that? We're not going to share porn with you. One of the lotteries. Also, how insane is the lottery if you're like Obama and you have to explain that shit to China? Because the lottery on a small scale is basically you giving your rent to the first homeless guy that can accurately predict how many fingers you have behind your back. He's like, hey, Toothless Jim, how many are behind my back today? Two, good job, Topsy. Here's my fucking money. Maybe you'll win again next month. Now imagine you have to explain that on a larger scale to China. Hey, America, what's going on with paying your bills? Fuck. We just gave our last 500 million away. Why? Oh, well, some dirt farmer had his mom's birthday on a piece of paper, so we just gave it to him. Why? Because it's fun to give shit away in America. You know how you give away baby girls in your country? We do the same thing with money. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> and for those of you that don't understand that joke, China has a no child left behind law too, but it means something way different than it does here. I love how much China does not care about human rights. It's wrong not to care about human rights, but they do it so eloquently and perfectly. It's crazy. So they're just like, hey, they have like peace rallies at their gates, because that's what China has. They have peace rallies at their gates. They're like, dude, your skies are filled with smog and you're killing millions of people. And they're like, and? That's what we do. Remember when they were supposed to have the Olympics? There was peace rallies every day. You need to stop torturing people or we're not going to have the Olympics. And China stopped torturing people just long enough to have the Olympics. And as soon as that last figure skater was done, they were like, Is, are they gone? Good. Get me a baby. Check that shit out. That's how China does it. There's an article in, on Yahoo News about somewhere in China that a family stuffed their daughter into a pipe. Like they were loading a fucking musket. Like they're just pounding her down. Like get her the fuck down there. Mao's like, don't, can't, no, we had another one. Get her the fuck down there. The fucking, that thing that we squat over is clogged again. What the fuck are we going to do about that? It, it, it's terracotta plumbing. You can't have terracotta plumbing. That's what happens when you shove babies down there. They get stuck on the ledges. It's a fucking mess. You think we can get like a rotor rooter or a snake out here? Nah, they killed like four of them yesterday. Nobody's coming here. <laughs> this is going to go over so perfectly. I'm so happy to do this right now. Uh, some crippled lady told me that I was appalling. Uh, I don't know what her problem is. Uh, here's what happened. I do a set. In the middle of my set, this woman just kind of like wobbles in on her two canes. And she sits down and she listens to my set from the middle to the end. So contextually, she's missing out. Not really, but she is. <laughs> so then, after my set, she comes up to me and goes, have you ever heard of Bill Cosby? <laughs> I don't really like where this is going, but yeah, I have heard of Bill Cosby. Why? She goes, you should cater your act more like that. You're appalling. And I looked at her, and I said, okay, um, that's fine, that's your opinion, you're entitled to that. Um, you take yourself and you have a nice day. And she walked away pissed off. And the reason why she's pissed off is because I didn't act how she expected me to act to that. Like, what are you, you're appalling, yeah, and I can do this, and you can't. Is that what you wanted? 
Is that what you wanted from me? You're appalling, and you're fucking depressing to look at. Leave me the fuck alone. Was your dream to be crippled? No, then don't tell me how to fucking live life, bitch. I understand I'm not for everybody. My days consist of figuring out how to take dark subjects and make them funny. I'm assuming your day consists of you finding establishments that have safety ramps. <laughs> You're the reason why they had to change the riddle from what walks on two legs in the what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and four legs at night. You're the reason that riddle had to be changed. Does anybody know that fucking riddle? Because that's a shitty fucking <laughs> reference that nobody knows now. <laughs> <laughs> There's like six people who are like, yeah, fuck cripples, man. We don't need that. <laughs> Here's what's really fucked up. I did a set at uh, Wisecrackers in the casino last Thursday. After my set, I had a good set. I'm walking out of the place, and I hear this lady go, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I turn around. There's a lady in a jazzy. She's like, excuse me. I'm like, oh, fuck, not another one. <laughs> Like, what did I upset you with? And I go, what do you need? And she goes, my jazzy won't work. Can you help me? I'm like, oh, thank God, I didn't piss you off. Uh, but fuck you anyways. I want you all to hate me. Here's the last thing I'll do just because it works. Um, at one point, I was dating some girl, and she had me go over to her friend's house to watch some shitty Johnny Depp movie. And I go over to her friend's house. Her friend's living with her mom. And her mom has like a toddler, like a two-year-old. And we're watching the movie, and the kid comes out and she goes, Mommy, I have to go to the bathroom. And she goes, oh, okay, we'll go get your potty. And immediately, I don't like where the fuck this is going. I go, wait, 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 what do you mean, go get your potty? There's a whole room dedicated to the potty. I saw it when I walked in. It's down the hall and to the fucking left. Why are you getting your potty? Then this little girl comes into the living room with what I can equate to a Dora the Explorer bucket, sets it down in the middle of the room, and starts shitting in front of everybody and I don't know what to watch. I know what I'm watching is illegal. I know that's for sure. I know I have to pay a pretty penny in Bangkok to watch this shit, and I'm getting it for free right now. Then she finishes and picks up her potty and starts showing everybody in the room like out of a sense of pride. And my girlfriend looks at me and goes, tell her she did a good job. Fuck you, she did a good job. Are you crazy? This isn't okay. I'm not going to support this behavior. If I support this behavior now, she's going to grow up thinking that's okay, and she's going to work in an office with her fucking poo bucket next to her, and she's going to shit in that, and then she's going to take it to her office members and go, look what I do, guys. Yeah, good job, Janice. Be glad you're in a halfway house, otherwise we'd fired you long ago. <laughs> Tell her she did a good job. Good job, kiddo. I'm cheating on you tomorrow. We are fucking done as a couple. This is over. <laughs> I was in Wegmans, and in Wegmans, next in the, the men's bathroom, next to the changing table, there's a seat that has straps in it. I swear to God, this is true. There's straps in the seat, and it's across from the toilet, so basically when you're done changing the kid, you can make them watch you shit. <laughs> Which leads me to believe whoever created this also dated the woman who makes you watch her kid shit in front of you, and this is his way of getting back at all children. <laughs> I want to adopt a kid just for fucking fun. That's like five. You're like, you're going to remember this shit, and I had curry for lunch. Here we go. <laughs> all right, guys, that's my time. Let's bring Rich back up here.